Hello, Nilabella back at it again with another video. This video is our first discussion and today we are discussing stars, mountains and ghosts as this topic was requested by one of my internet friends. So let's begin with what are they? Stars are balls of plasma. Plasma which I believe is the fourth state of matter. Anyways, they are balls of plasma consisting of hydrogen and helium. Stars are formed by the gravitational collapse of large clouds of cold gas. When the gas is compressed, it heats up and transforms into plasma. The temperature of the star's core depends on the mass of the star. When the heat is in the center of the gas sphere is high enough, about 4 million degrees Celsius, nuclear fusion of hydrogen to helium occurs, generating bundles of light energy known as photons. Stars are measured in proportion to the mass and luminosity of our sun. In general, stars are classified as dwarfs if they are less bright than our sun and giants if they are brighter. By explainer, link down below. I have the photo of the sun during morning of which it was the largest size I have seen with my eyes in my experience. I don't know why it grew in size or something with weather or possibly something to do with the earth changing their view of the sun into it being really large. We should all know by now that our nearest star is the sun because it is the star of our solar system, no pun intended. Some of us might think that the sun is small but, but it is the largest thing in our solar system compared to the gas giants such as Jupiter and Saturn. Speaking of stars and the sun, some cultures or ancient civilizations praised or believed in a sun deity such as a sun god or a sun goddess. A solar deity is a god or god who represents the sun or an aspect of it usually by its perceived power and strength solar deities and sun worship can be found throughout most of recorded history in various forms by wikipedia they are found in mythologies of the following african australian aboriginal ainu arabian aztec baltic brazilian buddhist canaanite celtic chinese egyptian etruscan germanic greek Hindu, Hittite, Incan, Inuit, Japanese, Lusatian, Maori, Maya, Mesopotamian, Minoan, Muska, Native American, Norse, Persian, Polynesian, Roman, Sami, Slavic, Turkic, Zoroastrianism, and Zunism. There are probably more cultures with solar deities, but this is all that was included in Wikipedia. Link down below. Let's bring up mountains. I have never climbed and conquered a mountain before, but I have seen a lot of mountains on TV and on the internet. But what are mountains anyways? According to Wikipedia, a mountain is a lot large landform that stretches above the surrounding land in a limited area, usually in the form of a peak. A mountain is generally steeper than a hill. Mountains are formed through tectonic forces or volcanism, link down below. Well, from what I believe or have heard over the years, some mountains are associated with mythology or legends such as Mount Olympus with the Greek gods and the titans or something like that. I think somewhere in China there was this natural land formation which could also be mountains or something like that which contained a legend or myth that the giants are the one who have formed this mountain range or this natural landform as they laid on the land or had a battle of some sort. According to Wikipedia, they are called sacred mountains. Sacred mountains are central to certain religions and are the subject of many legends. For many, the most symbolic aspect of a mountain is the peak because it is believed that it is the closest to heaven or other religious world. Link down below by Wikipedia. From what I've heard, Jewish people believe that the higher you are, the more closer you are to heaven. So that's why some Jews go to mountains as some sort of sacred site. But don't quote me on this because I could be wrong. Okay, moving on to ghosts. What are ghosts? In my words, ghosts are a bunch of lost souls or spirits lurking the earth or something like that. According to Wikipedia, in folklore, a ghost, sometimes known as an apparition, haunt, phantom, poltergeist, shade, specter or specter, spirit, spook, and wraith is the soul or spirit of a dead person or animal that can appear to the living. In ghost lore, descriptions of ghosts vary widely from an invisible presence to translucent or barely visible wispy shapes to realistic lifelike visions. In my experience, I have never encountered a ghost except for this one or few times I was sleeping. The area of the bed near my feet was bouncing so it could have been a bunch of ghosts having sex on my bed while I'm trying to sleep because I could feel vibrations of upward and downward motion on the other side of my bed. But it was probably my heartbeat or my imagination playing tricks on me. Most ghost stories from what I believe are based on abandoned places, haunted houses or haunted mansions after something tragic happened such as mass murder, suicide, torturings of people or something like that. Ghost folklore are found in many cultures from America, Latin America, Africa, Asia, 
Europe and possibly more. However, from a scientific perspective, they are considered to be optical illusions or hallucinations. From Wikipedia, limitations of human perception and ordinary physical explanations can account for ghost sightings, for example, air pressure changes in our home causing doors to slam, humidity causing boards to creak, condensation or lights from a passing car reflected through a window at night. Pareidolia, an innate tendency to recognize patterns in random perceptions, is what some skeptics believe causes people to believe what they have seen, that they have seen ghosts. Link down below. Wikipedia. All right, guys. Guys, this is finally it's the discussion. It took me a while because um some things happened like last night and um I was probably busy as doing something and yeah this is the discussion. Let's bring up the questions. Will solar flares from the sun bring earth to its doom? Not in our lifetime. I, I doubt it. Unless in extreme cases then yeah the sun will bring earth to its doom under circumstances where in, in extreme cases like um it's a large and like long solar flare that reaches to the earth and possibly like to the rest of the other planets and like dwarf planets like Pluto or like Uranus. I mean Uranus, forgive me, I pronounced it wrong. But then again, don't hate me because words are words, words are made up. So we'll talk for that in another day. Like we'll talk about words in another day if you want to. Do you think our sun will turn into a white dwarf or a black hole or increase in size and eat the inner planets? You know, that's the thing. It's um. It's just a matter of time. I doubt it will turn into a black hole, but my money is on the increase in size and, and eat the inner planets. That's my money. While White Dwarf may be in a long time, like probably billions of years, but if you research that, you might know more information as like, I think if you click the link below on the star article about that I researched, you can check that out if you want. All right, moving on. Can mountains turn into volcanoes? Yes and no, because generally, they won't turn into volcanoes unless they are under extreme circumstances where there are like a super volcano down below like it just it just pops out of nowhere because of seismic activity like the shifting of tectonic plates um yeah like it will if the shifting of tectonic plates it will become larger and larger but the only way for it to turn into a volcano volcano is volcanic activity or seismic activity such as like um magma man I'm getting my geography wrong here man my science wrong magma so it's not lava. So I'm talking about magma here. So it's it's like lava but below. Anyways, the magma below will have to like increase in proportion and um burst out into the the mountain and then it will become a volcano or a super volcano, who knows. Speaking of mountains, are landslides and avalanches the same? Yes and no. They're the both the same concept. It's just a bunch of materials. I mean, no, not materials um I don't know what the right word for it is called, but it's like the the land is shifting or there's 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 movement in in the land because because of tectonic activity or like um well yeah tectonic activity is one aspect of it or it could be like um i think just like movement of everything like near the area like the land so like vehicles or buildings and like i doubt that's the case but it could be like it could also be like drilling but i think it's more more into activity in the size seism like seismic activity so like um maybe an earthquake can happen and then a landslide might happen uh, or an avalanche or well, avalanche um usually like if someone shouts or there's a lot of movement happening then yeah an avalanche would happen they're both like they're kind of like the same except Avalanche is just snow while landslide is just mud or earth. I'm right, moving to the next question. Any experiences with ghosts? I said it already. You have to go back to the in the middle of the video. Do you believe in ghosts? Yes, I do believe in ghosts because there's probably that's just my opinion because I believe in ghosts because um you know because of places like haunted places or like abandoned and stuff like that. They might have it because they might be cursed or something. I'm a bit superstitious, just letting you know. Well, let me know what your experiences are with stars, mountains, and ghosts. Will solar flares from the sun bring Earth to its doom? Do you think our sun will turn into a white dwarf or a black hole or increase in size and eat the inner planets? Can mountains turn into volcanoes? Speaking of mountains, are landslides and avalanches the same? Have you ever discovered a star? Know any interesting stars? What are the nearest stars besides our sun? Have you ever been to a mountain? Have you ever conquered a mountain? Any experiences with ghosts? Do you believe in ghosts? Let us know in the comments below about your comments. I mean, <laughs> about your answers and possible questions you have relating to the discussion. And I'll see you next time. Later.